Back in August, I made a brief video titled, What Did Abu Khamar Say About Dante Fortson's Y DNA? <laughs> and the rhyme wasn't intentional. Uh, and uh, as it was, that video was simply a compilation of things which I had said somewhat on the fly while appearing on different live shows, the presentation came out a bit sloppy. So for a while now, I felt like a bit more clarification might be needed, but I was unsure if I should make another video on the topic. Well, as luck would have it, however, the video was brought up last night on Berean's live show, uh, which was a show titled Mormons and Israelites. Uh, the show was nearly four hours long, but uh, actually it was nearly five hours long, if I recall correctly. Uh, but I caught it towards the end, uh, roughly in the last half hour or so. Uh, initially, I was offering comments in the live chat, but I wound up getting invited to join the discussion, uh, you know, to take part in the live discussion for a brief few minutes. And uh, during that time, I attempted to clarify my understanding of the subject of uh, Dante's Y-chromosomal haplogroup. Unfortunately, however, after the live show went off the air, it quickly received a copyright strike, and it's apparently no longer available, uh, at least not in the United States. But I managed to capture some key portions of the discussion, so I wanted to make this quick video to present a sort of boiled-down version of what I said, and then, you know, build upon it by providing a bit more information to support what I had said last night. So, we're going to pick up at the point where the discussion turned to Dante's paternal haplogroup. Uh, to give some background, a, a panelist had offered some thoughts contrasting Dante with a person who has a haplogroup E1B1B. Dante responded to that. He was, he was in the ch live chat, and uh, he s responded to that with a super chat, which read, quote, according to Abu, I'm E1B1B. Check his channel, end quote. Now, when he said, check my channel, uh, he was referencing my video from last August. Of course, you know, Dante's comment raises a legitimate question, which is, why should one agree with me, you know? Like, surely he wasn't saying that people should just take my word for it, uh, as, you know, I think we all would agree that, you know, perhaps I could be mistaken in this regard. Hence why, you know, for that reason, I thought it would be appropriate to make this video now to sort of provide the, the reasoning behind what was said. Now, for anyone interested, I'll provide links to my different sources in the video description. So with that, I'm going to play about three and a half minutes of, cl of uh, different clips from Berean's show, and then I'll attempt to elaborate. Here we go. Let me read that. You see the screen? According to, according to Abu, E1B. Abu, jump on here. E1B1B. Yeah. Check your channel. Give me that. Yeah, Put will, that link in here, Baru. Abu. I would love to address it. it. Go ahead. Yeah, you can read Abu. Abu, Abu let me say Abu. Read the screen. Second exit. You, you, I don't know, G Con Driver. Read this screen. Is the boo talking crazy or not right now on this screen? Uh, it says Dante is closely related paternally to some Natupians. His haplogroup is EL29, a subclass of E1B1B. That's correct. Hey, wait a minute. The 16th, Africa. The 16th second mark. Is it you sure you want the 16th second mark? All right, um, go ahead. I don't know if, this, if he write the 16 second. 16 second. This is yeah, it right I'm here, then, Abu. Right. Abu, I'm going to hit Dante, you a messenger. Abu, All right, here. Hold on. Just hold on a second. Come on. Come on. Do me a favor. Just explain it right now. Just explain it right now for me. Oh, Dante is in there. Go ahead, um, Abu. <laughs> Forgive me. I won't be on long. I have to jump off very soon. I'm with yeah, I'm going to. But, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. I, I myself am skeptical of a lot of the appeals to Jed Match, but this was not based on Jed Match. It was based on what he showed from 23andMe. His... And this isn't a general appeal to just like the E haplogroup, like some people do. His haplogroup, according to 23andMe, is EL29. And that's a subclade of E1B1B. And more specifically, it's a subclade of EM34, So, which is uh, a, a more specific, uh, you know, it's, it's something that was found amongst at least two of the Natufian samples. That's all. So it is fair to say that at least Dante, I'm not saying this about everybody, at least Dante is... Uh, cl closely related, relatively closely related paternally to uh, at to, the brown, the to the brown skin people, to the brown skin people. Well, I don't know what they look like. They might have looked exactly like him, or maybe they look different. But uh, as uh, Second Exodus said, it's not so much an issue of morphology. It's a it's a question of um, 
of, of, of lineage, you know? So I, I would also say, you know, Dante is closely related perhaps to um, Albert Einstein, you know, as well. So, oh, hell. Oh, I'm right. just saying. I'm just saying. Right I, now. I can't say all along, but I just wanted to clarify that since you gave me the opportunity. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. No matter of fact, hold on one okay. second. I made, I made is that ham might DNA, made, yes or no? Is that ham might DNA, yes or no? Because I don't, got I don't look, I want to say this real clear. I don't accuse anyone of being a Hamite. I have no idea who Ham or Shem, what their haplogroup group was. So I don't accuse anyone of being a Hamite. And I don't think you can determine that based on morphology. I mean, there could be Hamites who are quote unquote black and there could be Hamites today who are quote unquote white in terms of their appearance. I don't, I don't accuse anyone of being a Hamite or a Semite or anything. I'm just saying that, that if we're going by paternal lineage, paternally, he is more closely related to the Natufians than a lot of uh, other people who might be, uh, you know, in the chat today that's all i'm saying wow and, 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 uh, okay this stuff but 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 putting all that aside this wasn't an argument about e1 e in general it was more specifically dante's haplogroup not everybody dante but, but, is but, e1 b1 b he's it's a subclade of e1 b1 b and a subclade of of em34 so to be fair if we're fair and honest according to his 23 and results he's closely related to the relatively closely related paternally to the natufians that to some natufians that's all and my I, goal is, forgive me, I got to my, my goal. Okay, so now I'd like to elaborate on what I said on the show. To begin, when Berean was attempting to bring up a screen which appeared 16 seconds into my video, that was the timestamp for when uh, Dante's haplogroup was shown. Uh, it was actually an excerpt from a video Dante himself had done last November in which he showed his 23andMe results. Now, to provide a bit of context for that, during Berean's show last night, there was some discussion on whether Dante's haplogroup was E1B1A or E1B1B, and uh, whether or not uh, the claim that he's E1B1B might be mistaken, or if it's based on perhaps a misunderstanding of, of a GEDmatch result or something else. So with that in mind, on your screen is the video which Dante did last November in which he showed his 23andMe results that I just mentioned. I'm going to play a very brief portion from just before the one hour mark when he shows his paternal haplogroup. And then my paternal is gonna be E-L29. We're gonna talk about that. Okay, so this is what Dante showed on his screen. Uh, this is the result he got from 23andMe. So his paternal haplogroup is E-L29. Now the question becomes, if one claims that that haplogroup is connected to E1B1B, on what grounds do they do so, right? Because as far as I can see, 23andMe didn't explicitly say that this is a subclade of E1B1B. So this is the entry for the Y chromosomal haplogroup EL795 on the website haplogroup.org. And again, I'll share a link in the video description. For now, I'm going to scroll down to the technical details for this haplogroup. Towards the bottom of the page, it lists the defining variants for this haplogroup. And notice that listed among them is EL29. So Dante having haplogroup EL29 entails him having a variant of EL795. Now, that's important because with some sources, when you try to look up EL29, you're going to be directed to EL795, as we'll see in a moment. So with that in mind, I'd like to now turn to the SNP or SNP tracker over at uh, scaledinnovation.com. Now, this is a helpful online tool because it allows you to look at some of the history of different paternal and maternal haplogroups. Now, quick note, when you do a search for a paternal haplogroup, you want to make sure the gender symbol is set to male. Uh, it, if it were set to female, it would look like this, and that's what you would choose when searching for a maternal haplogroup. But in this video, we want to look up Dante's paternal haplogroup, so we set the gender symbol to male. And now I'm going to enter into the search Dante's haplogroup, E-L29. And once that's in, you can click Go, and upon doing so, you'll notice that one of the tabs you can choose from reads SNPs, or SNPs, which stands for Single Nucleotide Polymorphisms. And when you click on that tab, it will give you the history of descent for the haplogroup you entered into the search, which in this case is EL29. Now, when you scroll down, you, you'll find the relevant haplogroup that you searched for in the bottom row, right? This is giving the history of the haplogroup that you searched for. In this case, as EL29 is a variant of uh, EL795, note that our search for EL29 gives us EL795 on the bottom row. And uh, 
As I said in the discussion, Dante's haplogroup is a subclade of EM34. However, I should probably add a point of clarification. Uh, in the discussion, I said EM34 was found amongst uh, some Natufian samples. But what I should have said is EM34 is itself a descendant or a subclade of EM35. And it was EM35 which has been found among certain Natufian samples. Now, with that in mind, notice that on the right, certain rows have a skull icon. Uh, if you see a skull icon on a given row, that means that there are known ancient samples which have that haplogroup. So let's focus on the skull icon for EM35, which again is upstream from Dante's haplogroup. Or put another way, Dante's haplogroup descends from EM35. So let's click the skull icon, the skull icon for that haplogroup to look at some of the ancient samples which bear it. When you do so, you get this pop-up window providing a list of ancient samples. Now notice that the two oldest samples, dating to nearly 13,000 years ago, are from the Levant. These are among the Natufian samples. Now as we X out of there, we can also note the skull icon for M215. That's the haplogroup E1B1B proper, from which EM35 descends. Now, when we click the skull icon and pull up the list of ancient samples for that haplogroup, note that for this haplogroup too, the oldest known sample is from the Levant. Now, interestingly, on the website uh, haplotree.info, one can pull up a list of ancient samples found in Palestine, or, you know, as they say, Israel. And uh, once you have that list, you can compare that to the history of descent for Dante's haplogroup, which we just looked at. Now, if I'm reading this correctly, it seems to be the case that although the oldest samples from Palestine, for which a paternal haplogroup has been proposed, although those samples differ from one another, it's nonetheless the case that every single one is upstream from Dante's haplogroup. Or to put that another way, Dante's haplogroup is a downstream subclade for any particular haplogroup found amongst Natufian samples. And this is apparently true no matter which sample one chooses. <laughs> I imagine some might find that interesting. So with that, I'll close here with uh, what I think is a quick disclaimer, you know, a disclaimer that, that might be needed. Uh, I just want to state that I do not claim to know who today does or does not descend from Jacob, okay? You know, uh, or, or any other biblical figure for that matter, such as Ham or Shem or Japhet. Uh, as I've said before, there is at least a decent probability that Dante might descend paternally from Jacob, but I'm not claiming it has been definitively proven that he actually does. But I would say that it cannot be ruled out as far as I can see. So it would be a mistake to say, no, I know for a fact that Dante doesn't descend from Jacob. You know, that seems baseless. Or at least if someone's going to say that, they need to provide a good reason for that. Uh, another thing I should probably note is that in this video, I was referring to specifically Dante, not anyone else. So, or, you know, not anyone outside of his uh, particular haplogroup. Uh, whatever the case, I, I do think that there's much more to be said. There's a lot more to be said, as this is honestly a complex subject. So with that, I'll close here uh, by welcoming the comments and criticisms of others. Right? I look forward to all your comments. As always, God bless.